Hello and welcome to this session. Today we are going to create a sample SOAP API testing project in Catalon Studio. So this is going to be a series where I will be teaching you how to create a SOAP API web services testing project in Catalon Studio and I will go very basic step by step and we will learn from scratch and also as there will be new feature addition in Catalon Studio I will keep on creating and adding new videos on that. So in this particular session I am going to discuss on API request addition, verification snippets, API request addition in test cases and using the web services keywords in Catalon Studio. So let's get started and I will go to my Catalon Studio and here I have my Catalon Studio and I am using version 5.8.4 which is the latest version as of the time of recording this video. So the first thing we have to do is we have to go to file and go to new and go to project. So I will go to this new project and I will name this project. So this is sample soap API testing project and this is a API web service project and I will keep it blank and here is the repository URL if you have your project located in some repository and this is the location description is optional and I will click OK. So this will create a new project in Catalon Studio and yes so this has created a new project and now it is asking us to add the web service request whether it is rest or soap so I'm not going to do it from here I will now just close this window and what I have to do is I will go to object repository and here we have to add our API or web service requests so I will take a sample web service request so I will say uh, sample soap API for testing and if I search on Google you can see there are a lot of sample soap web services or API that you can use for testing in your case if you already have your API details you can add that in my case I am going to take a sample API and I have already worked with one of the sample which is a country info service so I will search for a WSDL for that country info service and yes here it is so let me just open this in a new tab so this is a web service which is in SOAP and it gives us the details of uh, countries. So let us just check this. So I will just hit it again to check if this is up and running. It might happen that uh, this service is not up all the time so you can use your own web services. I am using this just for this example. Yes, this is coming up. So yes, you can see this is a uh, visual as we have already seen in earlier sessions is a XML document that has all the details about the web service. So I'm just going to take this and I will also add it in my notes and these notes will be available to you. So I will add this visual URL here. Yes. Now what I will do is I will just copy this from here, this visual URL and go to my object repository and first I will create a new folder it is always useful to categorize your APIs or requests in folder so I will create a new folder and I will say uh, country info soap service and say ok and here now I can keep on adding my APIs now you can see this particular service has a lot of API or web service requests but we have to pass it and to pass you can use any online Vistel parser in my case I will use a plugin on Chrome so if I go to Chrome browser and go to apps and go to web store and search for the plugin Vistler you will find this here and you can add it to your Chrome in my case it is already added and you can see this is the icon of Whistler and in our case because th this will get activated only when you hit a Whistler URL so if I go here you can see this is activated here so you can see it says browse Whistler and if I just hit here it will give us all the details of the services it has so you can see this particular web service has a request to get the capital city countries using currency country currency country flag and so on uh, let us search for getting the country 
a list so here is here is a list of country by name so I will click this and it has given us the request here request body so what I will do is I will go to my Catalan studio and create a new web service request under my folder and say this is get country list by names and this is soap and in the URL I am going to give the WSTL URL and description is optional and I will say ok so this creates our service and here now I will click on this button load from Vistal so this will load all the requests from the WSTL and you can see this are this is all the services available and we have to select list country names by name and now we can add our request body here now you see Catalan Studio also has passed the Vistal and give us, given us all the uh, service functions available however to get the request body I have used this plugin Whistler and now I can get it from here and put it in the request body here now in the this section you can see authorization so in case your APIs has some authorization maybe it's a basic authorization that uses username and password or OAuth whatever it is you can add it here in this service in this particular SOAP service uh, it, this is a sample and does not require any authorization so I will keep this blank HTTP header these are the request headers so if you want to add or if your web service has some request headers you can add it here this is the request message or body that I have already added and here we have the verification snippets that I can add so here are the snippets I can click on show snippets and I can add it here you can also add your own groovy scripting for verification and then variable so I will uh, tell you about all this as of now let me just hit this run button and see if everything is working fine and I am able to get a response so this is sending the request and we should get a list of all the countries and yes you can see we have got a list of all the countries along with country name and also their ISO codes so this is working fine and now I can also add some verifications here so for example I just want to check the status code is 200 so here if you see in the response we have got this status code 200 ok we have elapsed time we have size then we have response body response header and verification log which is empty as of now so I will just add some uh, verification snippets let us say I want to check status code is 200 so I will just click here and you can see it has added this new snippet here I will press command and minus sign to decrease the font so you can see the entire statement yes you can see this so it has added this verification snippets and now to check this verification snippets you have to click here in the on the drop down along with run button and say test request and verify so this will run the request along with the verification that we have added here and this will check or uh, this will be checked on the response and you can see if now I go on verification log it says passed so everything is working fine so now this is how you can add a API request and verification now we have to add it to a test case so I can either go to the test cases create a new test case and then add the API there or I can directly go to this plus button and say add to new test case or add to existing test case I will say add to new test case and I will say this is test 1 and say ok so test 1 is created and you can see it has already created the first step that uses the send request web services keyword and it is calling our object get country list by names which is this one if I go to the script view and I will minimize the import statements you can see this is how it looks like in script view and in the manual view now you can also add new keywords by just going here add web service keyword and it will give you an entire list in the drop down for all the web services keyword so I can also say send request and verify which also takes into consideration the verification snippets that we have added so this is the difference send request will just send the request and capture the response will not check the verifications that we have added but send request and verify will check the verification as well and 
uh, here I can double click and select the object or our API or I can also drag and drop it from here so I can just drag it and drop it here and then if you want to use any other web service keywords you can go to this keyword browser here go to built-in keywords go to web service keywords and here they are categorized under element number request text and utilities so as of now we have already used send request and send request and verify and then we can just save this entire thing and run so that we can check if our test is working correctly so this is running our test and until now it is running fine and yes everything is okay if you go to the log viewer you can see both the steps are working fine so verification is also successful you can also go to the consoles to see all the logs here and everything is okay so we have learned how to create a request SOAP API request verification snippets addition API request addition to test case and using web services keyword now in this uh, series of creating a sample SOAP API testing project we will look at parameterization we will look at how to use variables we will look at how to do API chaining we will look how to uh, use dynamic data into our request and we will also see how to do data driven testing so this is going to be a complete series on how to create a SOAP API testing project from scratch in Catalon Studio I hope this session was very useful for you thank you for watching